Michaela from LearnWire here, and today we are going to go over Focusy. Focusy is a screen recording application that will automatically zoom in depending on how you click or how you move your mouse or anything like that. Focusy is going to be best used by content creators, marketers, and developers. It was created by Morgan Kung. Looking at the FAQ, it doesn't look like they respond a ton, at least not with the FAQ. And the reviews doesn't look like they respond to many of the reviews either, but the app itself does have a 4.5 taco rating. So that's pretty good. Now, let's see. Let's take a look at the tiers. Our tier one license at $39 includes one device license. You get one gig of default storage, and you can also export videos in MP4 and GIF formats up to 4K resolution. Tier two license for $99 has all of the features. You get five device licenses, one gig of storage plus three gigs of extra storage, and you can also export videos in MP4 and GIF formats up to 4K resolution. And finally, tier three license at $199 includes all available features. You get 20 device licenses, six gigs of storage, and you can also export videos in MP4 and GIF formats up to 4K resolution. Okay, so let's get into it. When you first open Focusy, this is what you're gonna see. You can choose your recording mode, full screen, so the entire display, custom, a small part of the display, or a specific window. You can also choose your device setups here. We have our webcam, we have a microphone, and then we also have our speakers. Additionally, we also have a handy dandy suggestive feature option right here. So if you have a feature that you'd like to add, you can go ahead and fill out that form right here. Additionally, you can see the pricing of other tiers. You can see your history and then you can adjust your settings right here. Now for our example, I'm going to go ahead and just do full screen. It does have a little boundary box. So you can use this to kind of make sure that you're recording exactly what you want to record. You're not looking at the wrong window or the wrong screen or whatever. This is exactly what you want to record. And this is pretty standard across multiple recording platforms. If you've done any screen recording or anything like that, this should be pretty familiar. All right, so I've gone ahead and opened up an Illustrator window. Illustrator as a design platform has a lot of different tools that you can use and a lot of things that you're going to click on. So I feel like this is going to be one of the best ways to demonstrate how Focusy works. So I'm going to speed this up just a little bit so you're not just kind of waiting and watching for me to do what I'm gonna do. Now that we've stopped recording, this is the Focusy video editor. Right away, we can see some very basic editing tools. We can change the aspect ratio. So if we don't want the original 16-9, we could do a one-to-one -one ratio, a four-to-three ratio, or the mobile nine-to-sixteen ratio if we wanna upload maybe on TikTok or on threads or Twitter or whatever have you. Additionally, there is a drop down menu with a bunch of different social media presets. So we've got YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, all of the goodies. On top of those presets, just a simple clipping tool. So if we wanna cut out some footage that we don't necessarily need, we can snip, we can snip, and we can get rid of it. We don't really need it. Now let's take a look at the actual zooming for the work that we were doing. Let me just switch this back here so we can get a better look. Now, right away, I've noticed even right here in this specific frame, you can already see some cursor ghosting, which is not ideal. It can be kind of distracting to your audience, but just kind of keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and start. Okay, so it's zooming in kind of as we want. It did zoom to a portion that I was not working on even though at that point in the video, it was a black text on black ground, so there wasn't anything to see. If it did start as a white text, it you wouldn't have been able to see even kind of what was being typed right here. You can't, it the text is gonna be over here, whereas it's zooming in right here. So the zoom isn't 100% perfect, but one thing to note is you can change the zoom so you can change the duration, you can get rid of a zoom, you can also do a manual zoom if you'd like, you can change, you know, how close in it zooms in, or you can even disable the zoom entirely. That is an option that you can do. While this might not be perfect for the final draft of it, 
this is a really good baseline so you can get started. It's gonna add kind of guidelines on where you should zoom. Now, if you don't want your footage to take up the entire screen, there is a padding slider. So you can increase the padding around the video or you can decrease the padding. And there are a bunch of default pictures that you can use and put in the background. So we've got a couple flower ones, we've got some nice color palettes. These kind of remind me of the default Windows backgrounds in a good way. I really do like those default Microsoft backgrounds. But if you don't want a distracting image in the background, there are some nice gradients as well as some softer background colors. You can pick whatever color you want. They do have a nice color picker here. So if you want a bright red background, you can do that. If you want like a nice teal, you can do that. Whatever color you want, you can pick from it or you can also upload your own custom image with their standard image uploader right here. Additionally, you can add an inset to the video and you can choose the color of that inset. You can also change the roundness of the corners. So if you want a hard corner or a softer corner or a more rounded corner, whatever you'd like to do. And you can also mess with the shadow between the padding and the inset. So if you want a softer shadow or maybe no shadow at all, you can do that. Or you can add a harsher shadow to it. Another really cool thing that Focusy can do is it can change the cursor style. This is what the default cursor looks like, but you can change that style right here. So if we want that style, we can do it. If we want to go with more of an original style, let's see, we have a heart one, or we have a green one, or a Star trek -y one, or kind of looks like a Christmas tree one. Let's stick with the normal style. You can also change your cursor style to make it bigger or smaller. And you can also add a click effect. So if you want to add maybe a ripple to where you click or a spotlight so it's easier for people to see or a ring around it or some Christmas candy canes, you can add all of that right here. You can also add a mouse click sound with a crisp, hard, or soft. You can also adjust this volume right here and you can sample each of those click sounds just by clicking on the box. Focusy also allows for you to kind of change the animation styles. So we can change the speed of the zoom in, zoom out animation, the screen moving animation, and the cursor movement animation. So if you wanna change the speed of your cursor, maybe if you're looking back at your footage and you're going maybe a little too fast or a little too slow, you can adjust that speed right here. This is the camera options section. Right away, there is a toggle for whether or not you want to actually show the camera, so you can turn that off or on. And then you can also change the camera layout. So it defaults to having a circle down here in the corner, but you can change that depending on your needs or your wants. Additionally, if you just want the camera on the opposite side of the screen, you can click this flip horizontal button and it'll switch it over. Or if you want to have a little more creative freedom, you can hit this adjust layout button and you can move your webcam right here. So if I just want to push this way up in the corner, that is totally fine. Hit apply and it has moved. So let's just change this back real quick. Now, additionally, we can change the camera size. So if we want to make it bigger or smaller, we can do that. We can also change the roundness of the webcam itself. So if we want a circle webcam, that's totally fine. Or if we want to have a square, that also works just fine. Additionally, if you want to set up a mirror effect for your camera, you can just select this little toggle and it'll switch it back and forth. Now, Focusy does have the option to resize your camera when it's focusing in on a part to keep the focus of the audience on the action going on on screen. You can disable that or enable it as well as change the size that your webcam becomes. There are also a couple different filters that you can choose from down below. And if we really want, there are a few different frames that we can add. We have a gradient, we have some stars, and we have a Christmas scape. One thing Focusy does that I really like is it generates captions for you. There are three different models you can choose from. Each model is not only going to determine how fast these captions are generated, but it's also going to determine the accuracy of it. So the nano model, it's going to be a quicker generation, but not as accurate subtitles. The basic model is going to be medium generation, medium accuracy, 
and then the pro is going to be longer generation time but higher accuracy you can also change the language of your captions so we've got english french german spanish italian japanese and chinese so let's go ahead and we'll generate some basic captions and we'll hit that generate captions this is the caption generator it took maybe 10 minutes or so for this to generate it does not seem very accurate Admittedly, I didn't have a microphone plugged in and working, but regardless of that, it's just you, you, nothing, nothing, you, nothing, you, nothing, you, nothing, you, you, nothing, you, 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 a lot of views. I would not say that this is entirely accurate. Maybe, maybe this would be different if I had actual words coming out of it, but you know, nothing. It's just, I, I had nothing. And so the captions should say nothing. It took about 10 minutes for these to generate. So a little bit of time. It was an eight minute clip. So if you're doing long form content, it might take a very, very long time. I didn't choose the quickest option and I didn't choose the slowest option. I chose the medium one. It still took about 10 minutes. Additionally, we can change the font size and we can also change if we want it at the bottom, in the middle of the screen, or at the top of the screen. You can also change the spacing a little bit. So if you want it to be a little further down, you can have it a little further down or a little further up from the bottom. Now, finally, we do have a watermark feature. So if you would like to add a watermark, to your video, you can totally do that. It's got that same general image uploader. Now that we are all done with this video, we can save our selections that we have here as a preset. You can do so just by clicking this preset button right here. We can just name this and create. And then you can set that preset as a default or you can apply it to your current video or you can go ahead and just delete it. Additionally, you can upload it straight to whatever platform you need. And when you upload it, you do also have the option to add some interactive elements to it. Now these interactive elements could be maybe an email collector or a quiz, or maybe some buttons to cloud hosted videos. All of that does require a Gemmu account. So you will need to sign up for that to have those fun little incorporated items, but that is an option that you can do. And now lastly, we can go ahead and export the video. Here, you can choose between MP4 and a GIF. You can also choose the resolution. So we have 720p, 1080p, 2K and 4K, and you can name it and you can change the destination file. Now I've tested this with Illustrator and it seems like Focusy would be really good for tutorial videos. However, personally, I am a gamer. So obviously I wanna see how it would work with game clips. So I'm going to record a little bit of Elden Ring because I've been on the Elden Ring grind with Shadow of the Air Tree DLC coming out. So I'm going to try a little bit of that, see how it handles the gameplay video. I'm going to try it with both a mouse and a controller just to see kind of how all of that works out. Now what I would like to see is I would love for Focusy to zoom in on the action, maybe get some cool shots or zoom in on something funny that's going to happen or what have you. All right, so right away, it did pull up the new video in its own separate window. So I do like that you can have kind of two different projects open at the same time, and it's not gonna overwrite each other. It's it's just gonna all open its own separate thing. Now, let's, let's, let's get to what we want. We wanna see how well this zooms in. First thing you'll notice is the cursor is front and center right in the middle of the screen. Now, when I was playing, I couldn't see it. It wasn't there for me. So the fact that it shows up in gameplay footage is not great. You don't really want that there because it's 100% distracting from a viewer standpoint because it's just, it's just kind of there. Another thing that you can't see in the video, but I could also, I could 100% see is there's the little recording menu that was showing up right over my game and I couldn't drag it to a different screen. I had to have it on the screen where everything was happening. And thankfully I was able to move it somewhere where it wasn't as intrusive, but it was still on my screen. And especially for a game like Elden Ring, where you wanna see as much as possible because it's super difficult, it, it just was not great. It wasn't good. Having something blocking the screen is just not necessarily what you wanna see. With the mouse and keyboard, it was zooming in and doing everything I wanted like it normally does. 
But the moment I switched over to controller, there was no zooming. There was no following the mouse. There wasn't, there wasn't anything. Final thoughts on Focusy. It's really good if you're making content, such as tutorials or maybe a troubleshooting guide. But if you're a gamer like me and you want to use it to zoom in on maybe the funny parts or something that's happening on screen, it's not very good at automatically detecting it. Now you can, like I mentioned earlier, go in and manually add a zoom and a pan and all of those other elements, but it's not going to do it automatically from a gameplay standpoint. And when it constantly has the cursor just right in the middle of your screen in the recording, that's just, that's simply just not ideal in any way, shape, or form. I'd probably give Focusy a 3.8 out of 5 stars. It's not perfect at the one thing it does but it does offer you tools to fix it it's not just stuck in the one thing that it does its captions are not great and the webcam features are lacking a little bit like there's no chroma key so if i have a green screen behind me i can't chroma it out you're just gonna see the screen and the fact that the recording controls were stuck on the screen that i was recording at all times not ideal, not great. I definitely would not use this for any gaming content, but more for tutorials and for troubleshooting guides. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, anything like that, please do not hesitate to comment below in the comments, and we will see you next time. Goodbye!